Hello, hello, welcome back to another anime art video. My name is Dennis and I'm a beginner artist and in today's video, I'm going to be drawing uh, Rukia, Kuchi's, Rukia Kuchki's captain's right hand. I will say that it kind of doesn't make that much sense to me in regards to, think about this, right? Think about this. This is the biggest point that I can make for you right now. The Zanpak toe does not equal your Hado strength. If you don't have your Zanpak toe on you, you can still use your Hados. And a testament to that would be Rukia. She had uh her she had low spiritual pressure, right, when she was in her Gigai form or whatever, that human body that she was in, and she was still able to use her Hado because that's attached to your your spiritual energy. But Rukia, this episode, went back to Byakuya's house and said he asked what her, was her ranking. And she said, sorry, I wasn't good enough to reach the top seats. Right. And then he was like, OK, yeah, you're dismissed, which would imply that this person here, who is the second in charge, whose place she couldn't take because she wasn't better than him. Wouldn't that mean that he would have Hado? Wouldn't that mean that he's well versed in it? Because it's not just swordsmanship that they base it off of. You have to be able to do Hado. Like And if you have to be able to do both, then after his sword got broken, he should have still been able to use his Hados in order to fight. And I think that a uh, second in command his Hado should be powerful enough to kill that guy. Like, most definitely, right? Because if that dude wasn't good enough... Like, if that dude wasn't good enough to be a better fighter than Rukia, and he just ran up to Rukia, and Rukia was just able to stab him in the gut, then that means, like, his battle knowledge was, like, lacking. It was, like, non-existent. So, you know, you know, that's, that's what I'm saying. So, like, if he was just used like a hotto any hottos i think that it would have worked in his favor and i think that the fight would have been it would have went different and he wouldn't have had to die i don't know why because his sword broke he just forgot that he knew how to use hottos and didn't do any of them and just tried to fight the thing barehanded it didn't make that much sense to me personally like there should be no captain that has a right hand that can't use hotto I'm not saying that they can't use it, but all captains' right hands can use it, though. Like, they all can. Whether they can use it well is to be determined. But just like somebody like Renji, who was able to use a Hado, and it was so overwhelming that it blew up everybody, right? Like, he's not bad. I mean, yeah, he got a higher rank. Uh, in in a squad, he got put in a higher class than Rukia, and she said that he didn't deserve it. She deserved it, right? Because maybe she's better at Hado, but she's not as good at sword fighting. So they prioritize, oh, we're soul reapers and we have swords is our main weapon. So f sword fighting is our main source, right? But theoretically, if you can use your Hados to perform your techniques for you. I'm assuming the Hado is like the correlation to like healing, right? Like in order to heal, you use like, I'm guessing like a form of Hado. It, like maybe Hado has like a battle side, healing side, sealing side, right? Um, and that one squad is like, you know, well-versed in all of healing Hados, right? We can make that assumption or it can be something completely different. But for this guy to be a battle guy, for him to be second in charge of a, of a sick captain, and for him to uh, be strong enough to hold that position while his captain has been sick this entire time, I would say that he should be able to use Hado fairly well, and I would say that it didn't make sense for him to die this episode. That's my point. That I'm sticking to it. It is what it is. But uh, yeah, let's get into this. You're my bitter one taking me home For one thing you really do one Say that you're the worst but I don't know Is that true?
with this picture of the right hand i apologize if you can hear somebody on the phone they're literally standing like within the hallway just talking on the phone with the phone on speaker and i don't know why they're that close but i'm sorry if you can hear that uh i think this picture came out uh, very well I already stated what I had a problem with in regards to like the this character's actions this episode if you're a strong character um, and you have a rank of a strong character you wouldn't put yourself in a situation to do something stupid right so like let's say somebody like Renji when Renji fought against uh, Ichigo what happened he actually fought him and he was like actually trying to kill him and once he realized that, um, you know, he was possibly ha like, you know, had a chance of losing, he woke in his sword. Right? Like, so, actually, never mind, because he didn't, if he didn't go out all, he didn't go all out from the beginning. So, but he thought he was just a regular soul reaper. If you, if you know how strong your girlfriend or wife is, whatever. If you know how strong she is, and you know it's not easy to kill her, then you would know the strength of your opponent. So you wouldn't take it easy at that point. It's completely different when you first meet somebody and you can just underestimate them. That's different. That's what I expect to have happened to his girlfriend slash or wife, right? I expected her to grab um, the tentacle or even swipe at the tentacle with her sword and then it break upon contact i believe that but i also don't kind of don't believe that she would have been the first one amongst the group of all of those guys to attack uh to uh grab her ten uh grab his tentacle right i don't think that she would have been the first one realistically in a group like that um 
you send the small fries out first so you can set yourself up for the killing blow. And the reason why you would do that is because you can't rely on the other ones to be as strong as you in the finishing blow. You don't want to set yourself up for failure. So you would put them in a position where they would hold the opponent off or even draw the attention of the opponent. And then you would either sneak around or you would come in when they when the monster is, you know, um, uh, doing something else and you would one shot it if you're the first one in and then you have everybody else come in to try and cut there's no guarantee whether or not their cut's going to be a significant amount of damage and or there's no guarantee whether or not uh they're going to be able to do it effectively right so the the fact that she went in and then you know got herself taken over um and then this guy is like, oh, that's my girl. He said he took her over and then he ate his way out of her body. I I just think that me personally, I think that that whole situation didn't make sense. It makes sense in regards to like, oh, Rukia is not uh, the second seat of this squad. Um, hmm. What do we do? Do we make her go on a training arc? Nah, that'd be too convenient. Do we make her overpowered from the start because of her lineage? No. Do we make her a prodigy like she's supposed to be because she came from the slums and she was better than Renji and Renji is currently in a higher position than she is even though she performs better than him? Uh, no. I know what we do. We just kill the ones that are ranked above her and then put her in those positions one of those positions that sounds sick to me yeah let's do that let's make her train after they're already dead let's make her not have to work as hard it do it doesn't make sense to me you know like that's one part of the story it doesn't it doesn't add up i don't like it so whatever that's it for this video if you liked it be sure to leave a like subscribe if you didn't let me know what i can do in the comment sections to make it better for you to watch next time the glove is off peace love Thanks for watching.